um, I'm going to be explaining AFA OS, which I've looked on YouTube and there's no videos for it, so I thought I'd cover it for people who don't know. Don't know. This is a real Amiga 1200 that I've put into a tower with a Blizzard 1260 card with a 128 megabyte of RAM and um, Voodoo 3 3000. Now uh, this works only if you have a, a graphics card on your Amiga and um, yeah I think that's what you need for it and you need a, a bit of memory memory would help a lot <laughs> um, these are the what it does you you get a full skin look so as you can see the title bar has been skinned there it also skins windows that's my iconified dopus skins windows you get the um, PNG icons which can be transparent as well so as you can see that's transparent when I'm dragging it um, you can also get true type fonts which just makes the Amiga look so nicer like for example find just it just looks so better with um, true type fonts and uh, the interface compared to the old one it really updates a lot of the stuff like this is hippo player which I think looks a bit better than the original and even just like loading stuff just looks much nicer. You see this little loading skin area for a Amiga amp. Yeah, it's great. And uh, the way that you get it going is you install the AFA files and you put it into your startup sequence, and that will activate AFA OS and let it be possible for you to. Um, put all these options on it. It took me a while to get through it but I got through it and uh, now it's looking pretty sweet. Now this system's pretty basic at the moment. I need to get stuff like Warpost working on there and try and push the classics as far as possible. But, uh, let me go through the prefs menu now. This is AFA and AFA stands for AROS for Amiga and AROS is a uh, an open source Amiga operating system that is pretty sweet because they've basically redone the whole operating system from OS 3.1 and they're aiming for emulation or natively on um, like Intel chips or NVIDIA or anything but this also means that a lot of their stuff can be compiled and work on the old machine so this is like an upgrade for your Amiga basically from the AROS people which is really good and I hope they release more as well because the classics and the non OS 4 machines need to look slick <laughs> so here's the um, menu options you've got in miss you've got safe system faster icons uh, you've got st your standard icons and your drag icons here and you can um, change the level of transparency I like to have my standard icons full and my drag icons like halfway through. And we've got here we've got the skin selection, which is also has the sizes of the sides and the font positioning and the shadow size, so you can have like a, a shadow on your window. As you see that I don't tend to like that because it's a bit hard to read. But um, you can select your skins. So let me show you a skin selection here uh, we'll go for OS 4 now everything needs a little bit of a click to refresh it as you see but that's the OS 4 looking skin which I think looks sweet it also changes the title menu up at the top it's really really quite nice there's also um, Loads of skins. I'm not. I'm not. I haven't got any more. I've just got the standard ones with the pack. But uh, this is a Mac Apple Mac type skin with the. Um, there you go. With the X in the corner, which I think is referring to the uh, X11 on the Mac. Uh, let's see. We've got a Morphos Star one. Morphish, as it's called. 
So we load that up. And it's looking kind of more fossy. It just looks quite nice actually. Quite like that. Um, I might change back to the skin that I had though because it suits this background. So there you go. And as you can see, it's really responsive and quick. And I'm on an 040. I've got a lot of memory, as you can see at the top. Uh, but it still runs pretty smoothly. It doesn't take up amazingly loads. So if you haven't got this on your system and you've got graphics card capabilities and lots of memory, I don't know why you don't. You should um, you should get it on. So this is uh, the end of my little tour. And I'm pretty pleased because my workbench is looking sharp as hell. So I recommend this to any, any of you guys. Uh, check it out. Amiga... Oh, Aros for Amiga. Thanks.